In this short video, I'm just going to touch on two of the main tools that you'll need to do Ruby on Rails development, and those are the Ruby language and the Rails framework. Now, the Ruby language is a scripting type language. Let me switch over here to the website. And if you want to check out uh, where Ruby came from and more in detail, you can go to this URL, www.ruby-lang.org. Uh, it's a scripted interpreted language. That means it isn't compiled at this point. Uh, there are people working on virtual machines for it to turn it into some kind of bytecode similar to Java, but that's probably down the road. But it is an object-oriented, completely object oriented language. Very easy to learn. It's based on, in some ways, Perl, in some ways, small talk. It's got a long history. It was developed by a Japanese gentleman back in the 90s. So it has a long history. It's relatively easy to install. On Windows, it's essentially a double-click install to uh, put Ruby on your computer. On the Mac, it's, all, it's installed by default, but the w version that's installed is not the current version at this point so you will need to update it and in other videos I cover how to install Ruby on Windows and on the Mac and what it the details and how to accomplish that the other tool that you'll need is the Rails framework and let me see if I can find the directory here located once you install this and again that's covered in other videos on how to install it you'll see this whole framework that gets installed and the framework is a series of of actual programs to do various things of some template files some template configuration files uh, some template environmental files uh, various HTML template files and then a series of building commands Ruby scripts that help you build Rails applications. So this framework is what you'll utilize to create your Rails application. So the main tools, aside from Ruby and Rails, the Rails framework that you're going to need, and I cover in other videos, is a text editor and the command line. With these four things, you'll be able to accomplish some great development work with Ruby on Rails, and it's relatively straightforward. The next thing you probably should watch is how to install these things, and in which order, because there's a definite order in how they go. And I hope that you take a look at those.